Hello and welcome to Cinde. In this video you will learn how to connect payment systems to your accountant for quick reconciliation, automatic data sync and detailed reporting. In the first part of the video we will go through the connection steps on the example of PayPal to QuickBooks online integration and the second part will cover the general flow of the system, what results you can expect in your books after the sync and how to set things up according to your specific accounting flow. So once you sign up to Cinde, tell us about yourself. You may see some useful tips on the left describing what an organization is, which country to choose if you are selling worldwide and why it is important to select the correct time zone. So once you have specified all the details, click on next step. Now it's time to set up your first organization. You can connect one accounting platform within one organization. So if you have multiple clients or businesses, set up one of them first and you'll be able to add the rest later on. Then select one of the accounting systems for example QuickBooks Online and PayPal as a payment processor. Click on View all processes to see all the payment platforms Cinder integrates with, select the ones you need and click on Next Step. Now let's connect QuickBooks Online to Cinder. Click Connect. Enter credentials if requested, select the needed company from the list, click on Connect to connect QuickBooks Online. Do the same for the payment platforms one by one. Please note that if you are not an account owner and don't have credentials or sufficient rights, you can request the admin to grant your permissions to connect to a certain platform. But if you have, click on Connect. Then click on Grant Permission to provide access. A clearing account for storing all of your transactions from a payment system will be automatically created in your QuickBooks chart of accounts by Cinder. So on this next step, you are to select your business bank or checking account for smooth reconciliation. We will talk about the reconciliation flow in more detail in a minute or two, but you can check this short explanation on how to reconcile sync transactions in your accounting company. So once you have selected your account for payouts from the drop-down, click on Continue. There you go! We have almost created a Cinder account. Click on Create account to prepare it for trial. Once you have created your Cinder account, you will see 10 latest transactions from your payment platform. If you would like to see more, go to the Import Historical Data tab and import them from your payment platform. As you see, the system has successfully imported 4 more transactions. Now let's Cinder synchronize one of them, for example the 6.4 USD invoice payment and check the result in QBO. As you can see, it contains all the details. In order to sync your first transaction, just click on Ready to Sync. Once the transaction has a green sync status, it means that it has been successfully recorded to QBO with all the details. If you would like to check it, just click on the following links. As you can see, all the details were recorded a customer name, a billing address, a shipping address, the invoice date, the due date, a product or service name, as well as a discount, a tax, and the total amount. Moreover, Cinder has created a PayPal processing fee with all the details as well. Once Cinder has synced your first transaction, you will see it in the automatically created clearing account in the chart of accounts, so click on View Register and check the data recorded. As you see, Cinder has successfully recorded the payment and the fee. If you notice that some details about your transaction were not recorded, just go back to Cinder and click on Rollback Sync. There you go! Cinder has successfully deleted this transaction from your accounting company. As you see, the ending balance has gone down to zero. You can now go to settings, change them to your liking and sync the transaction again for the correct results. Now let's take a look at how Cinder allows you to reconcile your online income in accounting in just one click. I'm selecting all of the transactions I need to sync in the list. Click the green sync button, select sync and click on Sync again. All of the individual sales transactions will be recorded to a clearing account that Cinder created automatically in your books. 
it represents your actual PayPal account in your books and will store all of your transactions from a certain payment platform. So the system has successfully imported all the details. Now let's go back to Cinder and synchronize the payout associated with them. Each time that happens, Cinder records a transfer of funds from the clearing account to the checking account we selected on the connection step. Note that the ending balance of the clearing account may or may not be zero, but it should be equal to the actual balance of your payment system at the moment. This is a great way to check whether the integration is working properly. As you see, Cinder has successfully recorded a transfer. And if you go to the Banking tab, you will see that the bank feed line has been automatically prematched. The transfer that Cinder has just recorded was found. The only thing you need to do now is to click Confirm. That's how Cinder helps you reconcile your online income in just one click. If you want to tailor the syncing process, just go to the settings, click on configure, and see all the options available. You may apply payments to unpaid invoice or bill transactions thanks to Cinder. Regarding the product sync, you may enable generic product in settings and all of your sales will show up under one product name and one income account. Or you may choose a default product that will be created if your transaction does not contain it. Meanwhile, Cinder will always try to find a match or create a new one. Make sure the apply taxes setting is on and specify the category which Cinder will apply marketplace facilitator tax to if you want to record tax details in accounting. Once you've found the best setup option for you, enable AutoSync and Cinder will work in the background fully automated. Remember to click on update every time you make any changes. We have also prepared the smart rules feature. So you may set up classes based on the product name for sales receipts as well as for invoices. You may set locations or you may apply taxes for QBO US companies based on the shipping address as well as based on a product or service. So we hope you will enjoy Cinder.